Hey guys, I'm Nitya Desikin and this video is an exciting one because it's going to be an updated MAC lipstick dupes video. I have done one such video of 25 MAC lipsticks, you know, dupes to the bullet lipsticks back in the day. And now I have some updated dupes because the, a lot of the dupes I mentioned in that video are discontinued themselves. So a lot of you guys ask me like if you can do an updated version, if you could recommend, you know, a dupe for certain shades that are discontinued by MAC as well as the dupes. So that's the reason I decided to film this video. And again, I have the bullet lipsticks in this video, not their liquid lipsticks and I have a bullet lipstick dupe for that like lip crayon or lipstick dupes and I haven't recommended anything that is like in a liquid form. So I, I like to keep the form similar. Like I want to recommend a dupe that is a lipstick as well. So yeah, I've tried to include as many affordable options as I can mostly under like 300 rupees under 400 but some of them are not and uh, you can still find them on discount but the MRP of it is not because it's really hard to get an exact shade match. I don't know how many people would agree with me on this. It's really hard to find dupes for MAC lipsticks because they it looks like you know the shade would be very common you can find a lot of similar shades but sometimes they just nail it with the undertone it's a little bit different and so it's a little bit harder to find a dupe as well and sometimes you just don't even get a hundred percent match so in that case i've also let you guys know that i haven't found a hundred percent match uh for a certain shade in the video because i just don't want to go ahead and tell okay this is a dupe for this this is a dupe for this even if the shade is not similar so until and unless it's a hundred percent match i'm not going to call it like 100% dupe so so I will let you guys know the percentage of it right here on the screen so that you know that okay if it's a 100% match or not so yeah I'm not filming this video natural light you guys filming a video now sometimes I'm just with the baby the entire day we are managing the baby by ourselves, my husband and I so it does get a little bit hard sometimes and also I'm not including any hand swatches in this video because Filming hand swatches is easy, okay? It's not a very big deal, but editing it is really hard because I need to like sit and edit it down. Like there is a lot of edits that go into that and I am i don't really have the time for that right now. But yeah, if I was just filming like five or six dupes, I could definitely do that. But I have so many lipsticks in this video, you would see. It's a little bit harder to do that. Excuse the, the lack of hand swatches. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started with the swatches. So the first one we have is a very popular shade which was discontinued and a lot of people were asking me for a dupe for this one this one is the mac verve lipstick this is a satin finish lipstick and it's a beautiful shade it's sort of like a mauve deep mauve kind of a shade and the closest i could get to this is lacme cushion matte lipstick and this one is in the shade nude toast i believe they don't really have the shade name mentioned on this packaging but i will make sure to link it if i can find it of course and i'm not sure if it's discontinued so the lacme one is a very close shade match but the pigmentation is not on par with mac so you have to build on it quite a bit but otherwise it's a beautiful shade match and you can see how it looks side by side so another shade that i feel like is similar to mac verve is from mama uh, this is the long stay lipstick in the shade espresso brown the formulation is more matte but the shade is very similar so that's the reason i thought of including this one um because of the formulation there could be a slight variation in the shade but it is quite similar next one we have the mac matte lipstick in the shade sore and this was a shade that i you know for the longest time couldn't find a dupe for and the closest one now i found is from love child by masaba this is in the shade mint to be uh, uh, the mint to be lipstick is a little bit more on a like you know it has a little bit more of a sheen but the shade is a hundred percent match in my opinion next one is also a shade i couldn't find a closer match to for the longest time this one is the mac lipstick in the shade captive this is said to be a satin lipstick and the closest i could find to this one is from my glam this one is in the shade pretty little liars now the my glam one has a little bit more pink than mac mac has a little bit more purple hints to it but this is the closest i could get and this is a very affordable formulation the my glam one i really like it it is comfortable it is not the long it is not the most long wearing lipstick it does fade away quite a bit because it's a you know lipstick that has a lot of sheen to it it is not a matte lipstick by any means and it's like a satin glossy lipstick but the shade is really nice and pigmented so and also the price point is quite affordable next up we have the mac lipstick in the shade world this is a matte formulation this is a really nice cool toned brown shade for my skin tone and then there are a lot of dupes suggested for this one there's maybelline nude nuance which i've swatched in my previous mac lipstick dupes video uh the recent one that i found an updated one is from k beauty this one is in the shade thriller which is i feel like a really close match to mac the mac one is a little different undertone okay it has a little bit of green rage mauve kind of an undertone whereas the k-beauty one is like a cool toned brown shade so the mac one in my opinion is a little bit different it is a little unique no no matter how many dupes suggested i feel like still whirl is a little unique but this is a close match 
And another dupe for MAC World is from the Swiss Beauty Craze Lip Duo. So this side is a dupe for another lipstick from MAC, which you'll see later on in the video. So this side is a dupe for MAC World. So this uh, variant is called Choco Spice. So if you buy this one lipstick, you have two MAC dupes in this. So this is how it looks like side by side. I feel like it's very, very similar. The formulation of this Swiss Beauty Lip Crown is really nice. It's comfortable, pretty much transfer proof. You guys, you guys can see the side where there's Swiss Beauty, it doesn't transfer and it just stays on your lips for a really long time. I absolutely love it. The next shade we have is the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Kinda Sorta, which is a beautiful shade, a very unique shade actually. So it has more purple to it than MAC World. So they are of a similar color family, more cool toned, but kind of sort of has more purple to it so i couldn't find a hundred percent match to it and the closest one i could get to was from blue heaven this one is in the shade nutty butty so nutty butty is a little bit more brown it doesn't have as much purple to it but yeah the closest i could find was this one and inside stay basic lipstick so they're not a hundred percent match i would tell that straight up next up another super popular shade mac meher i have this in the travel variant because i don't feel like it suits my skin tone the closest match i actually a hundred percent match is from love child by masa this is in the shade Mita. So this is a really, really good match. You can just pick up the Love Child by Masaba lipstick itself. You don't really even have to invest in the travel size of the MAC. Next up, we have a Velvet Teddy by MAC. And the dupe is again from Love Child by Masaba. This is in the shade Sweet Supreme. It's like they've taken MAC lipsticks for reference, like for the shades, because so many of their lipsticks are a dupe for the MAC lipsticks. And yeah. It's a very good close match. I really like the formulation of the Masaba lipstick. It is comfortable. It's not the most long wearing one, but again, it doesn't dry your lips out. Next one, we have MAC lipstick in the shade Marrakesh. Now, my previous video, I could find 100% dupe, but in this, I couldn't. The closest match I could find was from My Glam. This one is their lip crayon in the shade Terra. This is not the most pigmented lip crayon. You have to build on it quite a bit. And the shade is not a 100% match MAC one. The MAC lipstick is a little bit more brighter and deeper, but yeah, this is how it looks like side by side. I did try to like swatch a couple of different lipsticks that I have those that were like terracotta shades burnt orange shades but all of them had a little bit more brown to it and this was the only one that had that orangish hint to it and that's the reason I included this next one we have max smoked almond this one is a amplified cream lipstick this has a lot of sheen to it and the dupe that I have is from mars cosmetics this one is their part of their peaches and pink set this is in the shade number 06 which is called elegance now the mask one is a little bit more matte and I prefer the formulation of the mask lipstick I find it to be a lot more comfortable on the lips long wearing and even though it's matte it's not very drying the mac one i find it to be a little too sheeny for my liking and also it's not the most long wearing lipstick so yeah the shade is quite similar the formulation is not next up we have the shade called brick ola which is an amplified lipstick and the shade that is very similar to that one is from revlon this is in the shade rum raisin which is so popular these days uh it's come back in popularity so i think a lot of you guys would already own this one so this is how it looks like side by side i again prefer the formulation of the revlon one for some reason and also the price point of this and you can find it on a discount most of the times in most websites next up we have the mac lipstick in the shade taupe and the dupe that i have for that is from maybelline this one is in the shade more taupe now this is not a very like 100 percent match because firstly the formulation is different and the mac one has a little bit more brown to it uh, but i prefer the formulation of the maybelline lipstick these are one of the best formulations in lipsticks i've tried out and the shade selection that they have is really good i'm not sure if this is still available these are called the ultimate lipstick ultimate lipsticks so i really like the formulation of this one and the shade is not like a very bad match it is quite similar it's the similar color family it's a close match but not a hundred percent match so in my videos, I'm not just going to recommend any shade and tell, okay, this is a 100% match. I always tell you guys like uh, the percentage of match, how close it is. So this is a close match, like a 97, 98% match, but it's not a 100% dupe for sure. Next up, we have the MAC lipstick in the shade Paramount, which is a beautiful shade. So the closest match I have for that is from Swiss Beauty. This one is their Craze Lip Duo, and this is in the shade Chocoholic. Uh, choco spice okay so the swiss beauty one doesn't have as much of like that burgundy undertone that paramount has i absolutely love this shade called paramount from mac and i'm not sure if it's discontinued if you can find it in stock please pick it up i do not think any of you would regret it it's a beautiful shade that will flatter indian skin tones deeper skin tones beautifully even if you have very pigmented lips so do not sleep on this one this is how it looks like side by side of course, the 100% dupe for this I have mentioned in my previous MAC lipstick swatch video, which is um, Nykaa Deja Nude. And 
if you wanted to check out the swatch for that one you can check it out in that video i'm not swatching it here because i have so many to swatch i thought of showing you guys a couple of options for mac paramount okay the shade is quite similar but the formulation is very different so this is the faces uh, matte lipstick in the shade for sake beauty so because it's more matte you cannot really like call it a hundred percent dupe but if you want it like similar color family if but if you want it like similar shades you can try this out i really like this shade for sake beauty again this is a dupe for a lot of different lipstick shades i will try to like get a video on that but yeah this is how it looks like side by side so another one that is a nearing shade is from chambord i leave the shade name right here i don't want to butcher it so when i saw that the Shambo one has a dusty burgundy undertone to it. I thought I'll swatch it next to MAC Paramount. And this is how they look like side by side. This is like a 100% match. And I'm so happy that you finally have an affordable lipstick dupe for Paramount, which is also a really good formulation. I'm not sure now if the Shambo one is discontinued. I'm not sure of that. And again, a, another similar shade is from Blue Heaven. This is their lipstick in the shade Molten Latte, a very matte formulation. Uh, but the color family is quite similar so i just thought i'll swatch it and show you guys you can take a call if it's quite similar or not it's not again a hundred percent match but the shade is there it's quite there next up we have the mac lipstick in the shade creme in your coffee this one is a cream sheen lipstick the closest match is from nika this is in the shade your latte the formulation of the nika one is a little bit more matte and also it doesn't have as much like of that cool tone that the MAC lipstick has. This is a little bit more pink, but this is the closest I could find. Next shade we have is the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. This is in the shade Brick Through, which is um, not as pigmented and it's a little bit of like a pink shade, which doesn't have that much of brown undertone to it. But th the closest match I have is from Mama Earth. This one is in the shade Mocha Brown. This is their uh, soft matte long stay lipstick. So the Mama Earth one has a little bit more, I feel like brown to it because it's shade is called mocha brown it's supposed to have a little bit more brown but this is a close shade i feel like next up we have a very popular shade which is called twig which is a satin finish and i am not a very big fan of the way the shade looks on me without makeup and the closest match i have is from uh, kiro this one is in the shade lotus dew which is a more matte lipstick and it doesn't have as much pink as uh, twig has twig is a little bit more of an intense pink than lotus dew but this is how it looks like side by side i absolutely love the formulation of the kiro lipsticks okay they are matte they're comfortable they are extremely long wearing and the color selection is pretty good these are like my everyday lipsticks of course the closest match to uh, mac twig is revlon color burst matte balm in the shade sultry i'm not sure if it is still available but that is like a spot on match Next up is actually a beautiful shade. I'm not sure why I don't wear this more often. I have the MAC lipstick in the shade Retro. This is a satin lipstick and a dupe that is of a different formula that is more matte. This one is the Faces lipstick in the shade Subtle Mauve. And both of these are like very similar shades, just different formulation. And I really like the Faces formulation as well. Like I like the matte finish of it, but Retro looks beautiful. I am not sure why I don't wear it as much. Another shade that I, I was like, okay, why is this reminding me of another sh lipstick shade that I absolutely love? So MAC Retro is similar to Revlon Race and Rage. Race and Rage is a little bit deeper as you guys can see, but a very similar color family. And I love the shade Race and Rage over Rum Racing and I did a shots video about it. So yeah. This is quite similar to Retro. Next up, we have MAC Marrakesh Mir and the closest shade is from Plum. This one is in the shade Upside Brown. Um, I feel like Plum has a little bit more brown than that orangish terracotta red hints that MAC has. But I feel like they are quite similar shades. And another shade that may be a little bit more brighter than the MAC shade in Marrakesh Mir is from Plume and this is in the shade Coffee Date. The previous one was from Plum, this one is from Plume and this shade Coffee Date was something I used to wear so much on a daily basis and then forgot about it for the longest time. I feel like the Plum and the Plume together would give you the perfect dupe for MAC Marrakesh Mir but yeah. I feel like the difference between Marrakesh Mia and Marrakesh is that Marrakesh is a little bit more brighter, I feel like. So let me just swatch this plume one next to Marrakesh. So this is Marrakesh and this is how the plume looks next to that. I think again, very close match. So coffee date it is. Sometimes, you know, when you're swatching lipsticks on your hand, it's completely different compared to how it turns up on your lips. So it's like a game of guessing and a quick fix. Like sometimes I just find the dupe on spot while I'm swatching it on my lips. I'm like, okay, wait, 
maybe these shades would be similar because I'm like kind of familiar with my lipsticks right now. That's how I come up with a, a dupe later on in the video. Okay, so the next one is MAC Ruby Woo and this was suggested online and so I was like, okay, let me just compare it and see if it is similar because I watched a video of somebody mentioning that this beauty non-transfer lipstick in the shade Blood Red is a 100% match to MAC Ruby Woo. So this is where I'm like, oh no, because MAC Ruby Woo has that blue to it, okay? That's what makes it very different. It has that blue undertone, which makes it like a standout shade and it brightens your complexion, it brightens up your teeth. The Swiss Beauty one is a red shade, but it has more of an orange hint to it and it's a little bit more on the neon side, more brighter. So just looking at it like this, it looks similar, but you see that it doesn't have that blue that Ruby Woo has. Of course, there are so many other dupes that have been recommended even on my channel. Sugar Lip Crayon, there's one from um, Blue Heaven, which is really affordable as well. So there are so many other dupes. I think you can avoid this one. So the next one we have is MAC Diva. Now this looks like your average like burgundy deep red shade, but let me tell you the undertone of this one is a little bit different because it has more pink to it and that's what makes it a beautiful wearable shade. And I swatched a couple of dupes and the ones that were recommended online, the ones that I thought were similar and all of that, but most of them had more red to it, more brown to it or more like, you know, earthy undertones to it, but not this kind of a match where it had a little bit of like that very pink hint to it. So that's why I decided to include this one. I don't know why I had to give such a big backstory. This one is the Daily Forever 52 lipstick. This is in the shade number 010. It's called High Tech Matte Lipsticks. I'm not sure if you can find these online. The thing with this brand is I don't find it everywhere. Sometimes it's out of stock everywhere. Sometimes it's there. So if I can find it, I will link it. I really love the formulation of these lipsticks. The lipstick this brand comes up with, I absolutely love most of their lipsticks. So this is how it looks like. It's more matte than I feel. This is more matte, I feel like, than MAC Diva, but you can see how beautiful the shade is matching, right? Next up, we have MAC Sin. Now, MAC Sin looks like your, again, average shade, but it's a very blackened berry shade, which has a prominent, I feel like, pink hints to it, a berry pink hint to it. And most of the lipsticks that I've swatched, again, lack that. That's what MAC does, which is very beautiful. They kind of play around with that undertone and the saturation, which it looks really nice on the lips. But the closest one I could find is from the Swiss Beauty HD Matte Lipstick in the shade Murphy Brown, which is very similar. I feel like, again, it doesn't have that much of that berry pink hint to it, but it's a very close match. And so the formulation of this one is really good. It is matte, it is comfortable, and it's wears pretty well on my lips and another one is also from swiss beauty this one is their non-transfer lipstick this is in the shade brown uh, maroon which is a very good formulation and a very good shade match again next up we have uh, the mac lipstick in the shade d for danger which is again a harder shade to do because it's more pink with red undertones okay so the closest match i got is from mask this one is their poppins lip crayon this was in the shade plum nights this is how it looks like on my lips and i really like the shade match that i could get and the formulation of the mask one is really nice and long wearing so you can try this out as well now the next one we have is the powder kiss lipstick in the shade burning love and the shade that is similar to that is from mask this is in the shade grateful goma i really like the formulation of these mask lipsticks so you get this for a fraction of the cost and they're really nice they feel like some high-end lipstick on the lips next up we have the mac lipstick in the shade chili which is more like a neonish red kind of a shade and a shade that is similar to that is from Maybelline this is in the shade more rust I love the formulation of the Maybelline lipstick as you guys know this is a matte formulation of the MAC lipstick but it's not the retro matte so it doesn't have that extreme matte finish it does have a little bit of a sheen to it so next one we have is mac russian red and a dupe for that is from kiro this is in the shade red beet they are very similar the shade in russian red i feel like is a true red i don't really see a lot of different undertones to it it's not like it doesn't have that much of a warm undertone nor is it a very cool toned shade so yeah i feel like it's a very like balanced red shade next one we have the MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in the shade All Fired Up and a dupe for that is from Plume and this is in the shade Regal Rose which is I feel like an exact match to that one. Next, next up I have the MAC Lipstick in the shade Dubonet. This is a Dubonet du and this is said to be a amplified cream lipstick and the dupe that I have for that is from Essence. This is their long lasting lipstick in the shade Now or Never. Essence one is really nice and comfortable on the lips. Not, not the most long wearing lipstick but really nice and comfortable. Next one is a brown lipstick from MAC which I had a hard time to get my hands on because it was sold out most of the times. This is in the shade Consensual and it is a matte lipstick and a close match is from inside. This is their um, 
I'm not sure what this lipstick is called. Okay, transfer proof lipstick in the shade Shady. This is a really nice warm brown shade, which I was looking for for the longest time. Super pigmented. I like both of this, but you know, inside is really affordable. Formulation is a little different. It is long wearing, but if you like slurp on something or even if you're talking for a really long time, it fades away from the center of your lips, the inside lipstick. So just keep that in mind, but it is also really affordable. Next up, we have the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Turn to the Left, which is a very unique shade of brown. It has some dusty burgundy hints to it as well as some strong brown undertones so the closest i could get was from sugar this is their lip crayon in this shade vn rocher and this is how it looks like side by side sugar one doesn't have as much of that dusty burgundy undertones you know it's not that stark and dark so that's the difference between the two so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I hope that I could cover dupes you were looking for. Let me know if you want to watch more such videos. If you want, you, if you were looking for dupes for anything in particular, let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.